Russia's winter offensive failed, thousands of soldiers killed, 400 armored vehicles were lost. Russian forces have been engaged in large-scale offensives in Donetsk and Kharkiv oblasts for the past three months without making significant gains, German newspaper Bild reported. The report also indicates these failed operations have resulted in the deaths of thousands of Russian troops and a loss of over 400 armored vehicles. The article also suggests that Russia is nearly as distant from its strategic goals, such as capturing the cities of Kupiansk and Avdiivka, as it was at the onset of these winter offensives in October 2023. Meanwhile, Ukraine has wisely and aptly adapted its defensive mechanisms in response to Russian assault. The publication notes, however, it remains uncertain how long Ukraine can maintain such robust defensive actions or sustain its ammunition supplies for its current defensive systems. The waves of Russian attacks appear to have been withstood for the time being, derailing the Kremlin's winter offensive, the newspaper writes. It seems Russia will need to gather reserves again before mounting another offensive. According to analysis by the Institute for the Study of War, Russian forces may ramp up efforts to seize Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region in the ensuing weeks, possessing a less depleted force there compared to other areas in eastern Ukraine. In the fall of 2023, the Russian offensive in the Kupiansk sector intensified. Alexander Sirsky, commander of Ukraine's ground forces, said that the Russian army conducts daily assaults near Sinkivka to create a foothold for a subsequent push on Kupiansk.